when someone dies, whether famous or not, a lot of people praise him. Unfortunately, the deceased is not present anymore to hear all the good things that are being said about him. And unfortunately, we are too reticent when people are still alive. We don't dare say the praise when it's still time to hear it. This is where fiction comes in handy, and more particularly, dramatic irony. In Waking Ned, written by Kirk Jones, the co-protagonists, Michael and Jackie, are battling to claim the benefit of a dead man's winning lottery ticket. To that end, Michael pretends to the representative of the lottery that he, Michael O'Sullivan, is the deceased, a guy named Ned Devine. In the middle of the movie, the whole village, which by then is in on the scheme, is burying Ned Devine. Suddenly, the lottery official comes in. Jackie, who was starting the eulogy, is cornered. If he speaks of Ned Devine, the whole scheme peters out. See what happens next. As we look back on, on the life of... Michael O'Sullivan was my great friend. But I don't ever remember telling him that. The words that are spoken at a funeral are spoken too late for the man that is dead. What a wonderful thing it would be to visit your own funeral. To sit at the front and hear what was said. Maybe to say a few things yourself. Michael and I grew old together. But at times when we laughed, we grew younger. If he was here now, if you could hear what I say, I'd congratulate him on being a great man and thank him for being a friend. Well, he must have been a great man, this Michael fellow. He had his faults. In my opinion, this is one of the best exploitations of dramatic irony in the history of drama. Because it's not only funny and moving, it reminds us of our human condition and of the way we treat each other. In short, after having made us smile and weep, it makes us think. Hats up to the screenwriter.